the Cavan alerts have been I would, <laughs> better than we ever expected in terms of accuracy. Like it was within tw anywhere from 16 hours we got a notification that the cow was going to calve and it was right, I'd say, 99% of the time. The first repeat, so... Uh, my name is Mark Hatton. Uh, I'm currently in third level education down in Waterford, studying ag science. Uh, I'm also milking at home with my father. Uh, we're milking a spring calf and a pedigree Holstein herd. Um, we're aiming to kind of compact the calving down and increase the herd fertility, which would be the main aim to do over the next couple of years. It, it's a go-to really. Um, once you get used to it, it's hard to go without it. Um, We've had the Smax Tech system in now for about three, this is our fourth year with it now. We've had it in three years and um, just it, it gives us peace of mind really more than anything. Uh, you know it's out there working, picking up heats, uh, any sickness in cows, temperature increases, temperature decreases. Um, usually if we get a temperature increase, it's usually a sign that there's mastitis or some sort of bacterial infection. So we'll be checking that straight away and I must say, I say nine out of ten times it has usually been the cause of a potential uh, infection so we were able to treat it a lot quicker. Well they kind of go hand in hand now um, as years progress the technology is going to progress like you see it in milking parlours in Everton now and new robot systems coming in and automatic calf feeders like the, it's, it's just going to be it's just going to be the usual thing, I reckon. Um, you won't be able to go without it. Um, well, so far for this year now, we, we had a three-week submission rate of, uh, I think it was just under 90%. And uh, we've never really had anything like that before in this. We were always kind of a bit scattered in terms of calving. So to get that sort of submission rate now, and even if half them hold, we'll, we'd be delighted because it just compact up the cattle and, and make better use of our grass then once we get them out. Well, basically every, every day the cows come in, we have the readers around the farm and um, we get a text alert on our phone. And if we get, say, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the increased temperature, it's usually, uh, m most of the time, you'd see it there, it says mastitis could be the, the main uh, concern. Or, and it has different um, sections there for around the dry off period, lactation, fresh cow. Um, it could be a premature calving, uh, a respiratory disease, or any sort of other infection really. And then with the decreased temperature, <laughs> if you see two or more of them, you'd usually be worried that it could be a metabolic disease. Um, so that would be like ketosis or uh, premature calving or milk fever. So it'd be important to get them treated as quickly as possible. And yeah, and you're able to see then uh, water intake and activity of the animals too, which is pretty essential as well if there's a consistency of notifications. Uh, basically, it's helped us with uh, picking up heats for AI and cows, which was the main reason why we got it in the first place, because fertility was one of our biggest issues. And then along with that, the calving alerts have been I would, <laughs> better than we ever expected in terms of accuracy. Like it was within tw anywhere from 16 hours, we got a notification that the cow was going to calve and it was right, I'd say 99% of the time. And as well as that, then uh, picking up any of them health alerts, which helps us pick up on any, any sort of illness that a cow may be having. And, um, I really think the temperature alerts are picking up on the mastitis will be a big thing in the future with the new restrictions coming in on antibiotic use with herds all over the country and Europe so it's definitely, definitely happy with it.